When No Man's Sky came out six years ago, mining was straightforward and very basic. Over the years, they've added on multiple ways to mine. There are manual mining and also automated mining. I'm Controlled Chaos, and in this video, I'm going to go over all the different ways you can mine your minerals. Let's get started. First off, we're going to start talking about the basic multi-tool mining laser this is a good way to mine starting off as you can add upgrades to it to last longer in mining you can get more resources and things like that now the great thing is is you can actually adjust your mining beam so that it takes smaller chunks and gives you more resources or you can mine a bigger area and get less resources it depends on what you're looking for if you're just looking to clear out an area it's great to go bigger if you're actually looking to get a lot of resources you want to go smaller and take your time now talking about one of those automated systems they put in an a portable auto miner you just place this over the resource yep put in your carbon and you let it go it takes time though look at this take away it is just taking a long time so you want to set this down walk away go do something else and then come back to it but you also want to set a marker down as it does not mark the location where you put it so you want to put a communication beaker down a marker down an auto save area or a save area down things like that another way that you can mine on planets that's really good is you can use the minotaur and you can add a mining laser to that and add upgrades to that the great reason to use a minotaur is for twofold reasons one if you're on a hazardous planet and you don't have the right shields added for that hazardous planet you can actually bring your mentor there. And the way you do this is you actually have to have the Exocraft setups on your freighter to do that. Bring your freighter into the system you're in, and then you can summon down your minotaur to do your mining. That's really, really cool. The next thing I want to talk about is space mining. You can do this very easily and right away, even with your first ship using the default guns. It doesn't give you that many resources and it's a bit difficult to do i suggest that if you do this get the laser and upgrade it that will give you quicker recharge time on it it'll last longer and you'll get a lot more resources a lot quicker now i want to talk about this next way automated mining done you can get harvesters in the game and when you get the harvester, in order to get, you need to go into the nexus and you need to go to where you get your blueprints for buildings and things like that. You'll also be able to get the portable auto miner there too. So you'll get the harvester there and the auto miner along with other things such as your solar and your geothermal energy buildings. And you'll get the harvester. And the best way to do this is it's great for doing very expensive resource gathering because it runs even when you're offline. And the great thing is, is for instance here, I'm surveying for salt and I'm looking for an S class salt area so I can get a lot of salt quickly. And what I do is once I found the salt, I'll mark the area, then I'll search to see if there's any electric to set down my geothermic electric and there is one close by so what i'll go and do is i'll go to that area and it's only 300 units away and that's great because your base area when you set down base computer takes up a 300 spot area so with that what i'm going to do is i'm going to travel almost half the distance around that i'm going to place my base computer down and set it there so that when i finish traveling to where my geothermal electricity is i have both of those close by and i'll place down as you see here my geothermals and then i'll hook them all up and then i'll go back to my base i'll build up my base and then 
I'll also go and then wire everything up. So my geothermal will go to my base and power some batteries there. Then that will feed into my harvesters. And then next to my base, I will actually put the silos down to hold all the resources. And with salt, the reason why I'm gathering salt is you can take salt and you can convert it into chlorine. And if you actually take the chlorine and you mix it with oxygen and you'll actually get twice as much chlorine back and chlorine sells for a good amount. Another thing that sells really, really well in high amounts is activated indium. Those are found in blue solar systems. As you can see here, I got a bunch of activated indium on a set of harvesters I have. And I only put down six because if you go beyond six, you get diminishing returns after that putting down harvesters. You can put down as many silos as you want, increase how much you can hold. That doesn't matter. But as you can see, I got a bunch here and I'm going to get millions of units for selling this. When you sell your chlorine or your activated indium you do not want to sell it to a trade terminal because then what you'll do is you will crash the economy you want to sell it to another pilot so you'll just wait for one to land like i'm doing here at this base and then you'll sell it to the pilot and you'll get close to the full value in that area and you will not crash the market now there is one last way to get minerals in this on your freighter ship you can have base building parts that has a stellar extractor the stellar extractor will extract gases from the area if you're in a yellow star however it will give you chromatic metal which is really good for building a bunch of stuff and for getting your warp fuel so these are all the different ways that you can actually build things out now why i recommend when you build out the harvester i do recommend you build out a base and the reason why is you can set up areas like i'm doing here to mix your salt and your oxygen to make the chlorine and do things at that base plus you can also have a teleporter there so you can teleport out there without having to carry it a bunch on your ship and fly it to another destination i still like to put on my ship for the pure simple fact that holds way more so i can do really huge hauls and i can get millions if not billions of units doing this so that's a really good thing one thing i would like to see them add to the game though dealing with mining is I'd like them to enhance space mining. I'd like to see that you, when you do a scan, it doesn't just show you where you can get the fuel resource for your pulse engines, but it shows you where the gold is, where the platinum is, and where the silver is. This would be really, really cool. And be even better is if they put in bigger asteroids that have bigger amounts that you can hollow out and maybe even show the hot spots on those bigger asteroids so you can do more active uh harvesting of the resources and in itself would be a mini game of hunting down the right resources and not just blasting away like i'm doing here all over the place it'd be really really interesting so if you're into mining i hope you found this helpful and what do you think should be added to help out with mining in No Man's Sky? Comment down below. Let me know. If you did find this video helpful, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, greatly appreciate if you'd subscribe. And have a great day.